Hi, I would like to tell you about how I've decided to make a game. The title of the game is Mystery on the Moon. It's a story-driven adventure game with some first-person shooter elements. You play as an astronaut. Your main companion is the space station AI. The main aspect of the game is your relationship with the AI. I want them to talk as often as possible. Something like in example Firewatch. Good morning, John. Your first task today is to turn on the air circulation machine. Please do that. I'll do it, but please remind me why you can't. There is something wrong with the battery. It looks like it's broken. Go look for the battery in the main building. I also want to hire real voice actors so that the conversation would feel natural. I have a full-time job and not as much free time as I would like to, this is why I've decided to rely this project on assets. Let me tell you now a bit about the story. Most of people know that we landed on the moon in 1969. Not everyone is aware that people did it five more times. This is going to be the base for our story. One day, when working on the moon station, you'll find a map with some marked point. In that location, you're going to find an abundant human moon station with secret plan of the moon space program. You're going to find out that when people landed for the first time in 1969, they discovered something on the dark side of the moon. This is why there were five more missions. You're going to find and explore this place in the game. Let's go back to the gameplay. I'm working right now on some basic tasks that astronaut would be doing on daily basics, like for example changing battery. I can't turn it on. Something is wrong. I think you should check the generator outside. Here, we're going to see some animation that it didn't work. There is something wrong with the battery. It looks like it's broken. Go look for the battery in the main building. I think it's out there. Of course, a lot of 3D models here are just the placeholders. I replaced the battery. Now it should work. There is also a possibility to drive Moon Rover. You need to open the garage first. Get in the car and drive to collect the rocks. I collected the first one. How many more should I collect? I have this whole shooting system, which is pretty great. You can shoot, zoom, pick up and use attachments. I'm going to focus on polishing this level and first tasks, as there are still a lot of bugs and problems to solve. This is all in this episode, if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like, as it's going to motivate me for further work. Thank you for watching.